Uh, thank you everyone for being here. Um, let me tell you something. Um, I know you guys just watched uh, Price Heedley and I'm coming in now. I, I'm going to tell you this is something completely different. Um, we are going to trade weekly options. We are, we are going to be looking at the shortest of terms options. We are going to generate what I consider fantastic short-term trading profits. I will let you decide whether they're fantastic. I'll let you decide whether they're short-term or not. Um, real quick, I'm going to teach you how to make, make money. That's buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. And in the process of doing that, I've got to start with a disclaimer. Right? All securities used in this presentation are for educational purposes and are not to be construed as a recommendation to buy, sell, trade any of these securities. Understand that I myself might have positions in these, these stocks right now. I am not doing this as front running. I'm not doing this to have you go in and buy something I bought. This, this presentation is educational only. I will be talking about stocks that are current, but I'm going to tell you, I've been doing this a very long time, and a lot of my examples are from a long time ago. It's, I do that. Where is my sound? Can you hear me? Okay. Um, I use the older examples, one, because I don't have to update this, this PowerPoint. I've used this PowerPoint before. Having said that, I've since updated it. But most importantly, I use old examples to let you know that this is not something new to me. This is something that I've done for a long time. I have written a newsletter for almost six years now we're going to discuss. And my newsletter focuses on options, right? And options are on stocks. I'm not going to be talking about futures. I'm not going to be talking about Forex. Uh, mind you, I will talk about possibly options on certain ETFs. Now. The fact of stocks, they're one-dimensional price. You buy low, sell high, right? Options are multi-dimensional. There's a lot of information that goes into options. Now, historically, people buy options, right? Because how much do they use? Uh, again, you know, if you have Amazon at $1,000 a share, 100 shares of Amazon is $100,000. Not many people have that much money to put in, right? Let alone risk. By using options, we can we can use a fraction of that. But to me, more importantly, is how much can you lose, right? And um, I I occasionally lose. I occasionally will lose 100% on an option trade. Now that might sound scary, but not by the end of this presentation, All right? So historically, people have used options as a leveraged directional play, right? You you have a technical analysis indicator saying, hey, this stock is trending up, let's buy a call option, right? We don't use as much money. Now, I am going to focus less on technical analysis right, to the point of not focusing it at all. I'm going to be focusing on options pricing. I'm going to use the option as an indicator to buy the option, right? So, this is going to be a yeah, duh, to most everybody on here, but I want to make sure everybody knows, right? A call option gives the buyer the right to buy the stock at a set price for a set period of time without the obligation, right? The right to buy at a set price, that set price is a strike price for a set period of time, that's by expiration. I will be looking at the shortest of time frames. I quite often will buy an option the day it expires. I am not afraid to buy an option 20 minutes before it expires, right? I do not buy longer term options as a general rule. Having said that, when I do buy them, it, you know, it makes sense and, and we can go on to that. Again, a call option is a bet the stock price is going up. A put option is the exact opposite. A put option gives the buyer the right to sell a stock at a set price for a set period of time, again, without an obligation. Right, the set period of time, expiration, set price is the strike price. You can look at it as a put option as a bet that the stock is going down in price. Having said that, you can also look at it as a put option as an insurance policy on a stock you already own. But we tend to buy and sell options simply to capture a move in one direction or another. Right? We tend to buy them. Now, there are 
some gurus out there that have a lot of options selling strategies, like selling a naked put, right? Obligating yourself to buy the stock. No, my whole system is about buying inexpensive options, looking to make fantastic short-term returns, right? And we do that with a rejection system. Now there's 10, 12,000 stocks out there, probably 3,000 of them have options. That's just too many. Probably four or 500 of those with options have weekly expirations, right? That's still too many. We whittle our list down to try and focus on just a few stocks. I do that by creating a pulse system, right? Pulse is an acrostic. An acrostic is an acronym on steroids. It spells something. It is a memory tool, a memory crutch. The whole goal is to have you internalize this, right? There are 12,000 stocks, 3,000 of them have options, 400 of them have weekly options, and we're gonna focus on a few dozen. We want the stocks whose options have great profit potential, lots of upside risk, or upside reward, low risk. Then we're gonna look for certain setups and strategies, and those might involve an event, and then we're gonna talk about the entry and exits. Right, so a couple of things. Now, some of you guys might be asking questions as we're going. Um, I'm going to try and give my presentation, maybe answer some of your questions as we go, but as a general rule, I'm gonna answer the questions at the end. All right, so I have pulseoptionsweekly.com. I have created the Pulse System, which I've written a book, it's called The Pulse System, Turning Pennies into Hundreds of Dollars Trading Options. I've created a, a number of videos. I write the weekly Pulse newsletter, it comes out each weekend. In the Pulse newsletter, we have uh, a watch list. These are the oh, 40 or so stocks that have the best option math. Of those stocks, we'll generally find five, give or take, setups for that week, right? Five setups, give or take for that week. Each week we will review the previous week's picks and we're constantly educating. Now, a little bit about myself. I've been trading the stock market, trading options almost 40 years now. I've been teaching people how to trade for well over 20. And um, let me try and maybe teach some of you something you might not have seen before. Now, this is an old screenshot of Amazon. This is when Amazon was much lower. This screenshot's from June of 2014. This is almost three years ago to the day, right? And um, this screenshot has the call options on the, on the left. It has the opening price highlighted in a box, and it has the high price of the day highlighted in a box to the right. And they go by strike prices. And I, what I want you to see that this is intraday moves, right? We have the Amazon 300 call went from eight and a half dollars to 27.50. Now that's a great move. That's that's 300% move. But if you go down, if you if you look at let's say the 320 call, it moved from a dime to eight dollars and 95 cents. That's ten dollars a contract to 895 dollars a contract in a single day. That's Amazon calls. Now here's Amazon put options. All right, I guess I can highlight some of this. Again, this is the open. This is the high for the day. These are the strike prices, right? You know, we've got a sweet spot here. We've got the 320 put open at 16 cents, made a high of 99 cents, All right? Quick mathematics, that's, that's only about five or 600%. You know, that's, that's not impressive, right? Again, this is a one day move. And that's part of what the Pulse system looks. We want potential, and we're looking for short-term options, making short-term trades. Now, I got someone ask, are those on earnings? No, those are not on earnings, by the way. We will talk about earnings here shortly. Now, in addition to looking at an option chain and the table, you can look at a chart for an option, or you can look at a screenshot for an option. The one on the left is the VXX $28 call. Again, this is from some time ago. It moved from $0.08 cents to $1.90, right? It, it literally moved 
in just a, less than two hours, right? Less than two hours, eight cents. Since there's 100 shares per contract, that's $8 a contract moved up to $190 a contract. On the, on the right, we've got a screenshot of the VXX call. Opened at two cents, traded up to a high of $1.50, right? Traded from two cents to a high of $1.50. Here's it opening at two cents. It traded a dollar fifty. What I want you to see is that it ended up basically expiring worthless. So you got to you buy it, you get in, you get out, right? The nice thing about it is that you're you're not in a trade for so long, right? And since you're not in a trade for so long, you can't you you don't have to worry about um, some crazy news event causing it to gap away from you. And by the way, if you buy an option for two cents. You're not going to run a stop loss. You're, you're going to risk that whole two cents. All right, having said that, U is upside reward. Now, upside reward is probably fairly similar to potential, but I wanted it to spell a word, but I also want everybody to realize that I do not like to buy an option unless I believe it can make a minimum of 100%, right? I look to try and make a minimum of 100%. And I want to try and make a minimum of 100% while I'm risking very little money, right? Many of my trades are only pennies per share, right? My, one of my favorite trades right now is on Freeport MacMoran, ticker symbol FCX. We call it the magic dime, right? I've written about this for years and years and years where we look for an FCX option that's about a dime, which is roughly $10 a contract. If you're a small risk trader, Hey, buy five contracts, risk 50 bucks. Right? If it doesn't work, the brown bag it to lunch. But if it does work, guess what? I'm going to show you your $50 might become $250, might become $500, might become $1,000. PUL, right? This is how we pull money from the market. I have a system that I take this big universe of stocks and reject down to a small few. It is not a black box system. I've created an Excel spreadsheet. Any of my students, I'm more than happy to give them the spreadsheet so they can do all this scanning, searching, rejecting on their own. Understand that in my newsletter, I do it for you, all right? Now we're gonna talk about the meat and potatoes, the, the setups, right? Stock, setups can be stock specific. Now we might have a technical analysis setup telling us to buy a call option on a stock, right? We, we might have a market-wide setup, right? We also have strategies to go along. Now, I'm not gonna focus on the setups, the technical analysis. Mind you, we talk about it in the newsletter, I'm gonna more focus on non-directional trading, right? Non-directional trading. And what I mean by that is, we can buy a straddle, which is a call and put, the same expiration and the same strike price, right? We're, we're buying a call, which is a bet that the stock's going up in price. We're buying a put that the bet that the stock's going down in price. Guess what? Sometimes the stock will be very volatile to both, both go up and down and we could profit on both of these. But as a general rule, one of them is going to expire worthless. We're going to, we're going to lose 100% of value on one or the other, but the one that makes money will make more than 100%. And so we'll be a net winner in the trade, right? A straddle is a non-directional bet. A stock will move. Now there's also a straddle, excuse me, a strangle. This is a call and put same expiration, but different strike prices. Understand the put, will always be the lower of the two strike prices. We're gonna buy a put option just below the stock price. We're gonna buy a call option just above the strike price. Again, we want the stock to move one direction or another. We don't know whether it's gonna move up big or if it's gonna move down big, but we're expecting a breakout move. Now, here is a email testimonial that I received just last week from one of my students, right? And so this email came in on Friday. So he said, yesterday on Thursday, SPY was trading at 241.83. He bought six contracts of the SPY. This is 
the June 06, Friday the second expiration of 2017, right? There's a codology here. It goes year, month, day. These are the puts. He bought the 240 strike price put just below the stock price. He paid 10 cents. He simultaneously bought the SPY, right? June 2nd of 2017 call, right? The 242 and a half call, which is above the strike price at 18 cents. Now he paid more for the call than the put because the call was closer to the strike price or the stock price, right? So he paid 28 cents. 28 cents is $28 a contract. He bought six contracts. This was, uh, oh, quick mathematics, a little more than $150. He closed his call near the open at 98 cents. Right, 98 cents times six contracts is just under $600, right? He left a lot of money on the table. If you look at SPY last Friday, you saw that it went up to above $244. He probably could have done twice as well, but it doesn't matter, right? This is, this is what I consider a short-term gain, right? Buy it on Thursday, sell it on Friday. It's not, an, it's not an intraday trade, so it's not a day trade, but I think it's short-term. I don't know if you consider it fantastic or not. In the scheme of things, it's not based on what I'm about to show you. Now, PULSE, P-U-L-S-E, E stands also for events. Now we have stock specific events, such as an earnings release. We have a market-wide event, such as a non-farm payroll or an FOMC meeting, right? So here's a, here, <clears throat> here's a, um, email from a student, right? This was from last year, talking about an event really quick in four and a half hours, or less than four and a half hours, which again, I think is short term, he made $66,000. Again, fantastic short term gains. You decide if four hours is short term, you decide if 66,000 is fantastic or not. E is an event, it's also earnings. Now the biggest profits on a percentage basis on earnings releases come after the actual release. So I had a, I had a question, are those, earn, those results on earnings? We do not buy options before a stock releases its earnings. The options are overpriced. Now, I, I'm just gonna say that here now. I'm gonna tell you that we are building a PowerPoint presentation to do a webinar on how to trade earnings um, in our newsletter. Right now, there's really no earnings to speak of, Earnings season will start again here in July. We will go into earnings in great detail, right? You play what you have available. Now, here's where our system gets very mechanical. Here's where our system becomes very systematic, very rule-based. We look to enter a trade. We look to buy an option based on a couple of rules. We look at to buy our options at specific times of day or if the stock price or option price is at a specific area. So as far as the time of day, right, we look to buy near the open, we look to buy near the close, right? The, the price, we only wanna buy a straddle if the stock price is equal to a strike price. Again, these are rules I'm just mentioning here in the videos, in the book, in the newsletter, we go into great details, right? E is exit. There's two ways of exiting. We can say, hey, we bought this option for X. We wanna sell it for 2X, 3X, 4X, 5X. We can hang an order, or we can let the option move our way and then we could put a, a stop underneath it and raise it as it goes. The reality is we're not gonna capture an entire move, right? We are not gonna buy the low of the day. We're not gonna sell the high of the day maybe unless the low of the day was the open and the high of the day was the close, right? We are gonna have a little bit of what I call sloppy slop in our trades. So here is a trade. This is an email again from a student, right? I say, is this a typical trade? He says, great call on your updates regarding Chipotle Mexican Grill and FAS, right? FAS is the, uh, 3x bullish banking sector tracking stock. 
right? This is an older email, but I think it proves my point so really well. He says at 9.35 a.m. Eastern time, right? That's five minutes after the open. We tend to look near open and closes. Sometimes we don't want to buy right at the open. We want the, the bid ask spread to kind of settle down. And so five minutes after, that's quite often when we're trading. He says he bought 10 of the Chipotle Mexican Grill, um, $500 puts for $1.95. That's $195 a contract. 10 contracts is $1,950. He paid $15.35 in commission. He also bought 10 of the FAS 85 puts for 35 cents. That's 100 shares per contract, 35 cents a contract, or share means $35 a contract, 10 contracts, $350. He paid $15.35. He says, as the attached screenshot shows, I closed out both transactions for a one-day net gain of $6,538.44. Now, again, this presentation is sh showing how to make short-term fantastic gains. I said, I'll let you decide if it's short-term or not, buying in the morning, selling in the afternoon, and I'll let you decide whether $6,538.44 is fantastic. Again, you can see he put in a little bit more than 2300 and he pulled out 6500 Now, I say that this is typical, right, because if you look at his buys, he bought right after the open, and if you look at his sells, he sold four minutes before the close. Think about this for a second. If you have a day job and you say, oh, I want to trade but I, I don't feel I can watch the market all the time. Guess what? If you can find five, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, sneak away near the open of the market, sneak away near the close of the market, you can trade my system. It does not require you to be surgically attached to the screen, all right? And then I showed you that's a typical trade. This is maybe more typical. The guy talks about how he paper traded and made 500% on salesforce.com. I say it's typical because my system allows you to paper trade. If you see a system that the guy says, hey, we're gonna buy this leap option because in the next 12 months it's gonna be profitable, how do you know it's gonna be profitable without waiting a year? When my system, when my, most of my trades are in one day, out the next, which is not a day trade, or possibly in the same day, out the same day, you can paper trade and in a very short period of time, see whether it's right or not for you. Now, I also say this is somewhat typical because he didn't watch all the videos yet. Now, this is a more typical trade, right? I talked to you earlier about the magic dime rule on Freeport McMoran. Here was a trade that closed at four cents, opened the next day at four cents, rallied up to 35 cents and then closed at 30, right? It's almost a nine times move, but it's certainly a seven and a half times move, which generated a 650% profit either overnight or from one day to the next. Now, a couple things, you might be saying, hey, this is November 7th of 2013. That's a long time ago example. And I wanna tell you, we've been trading Freeport McMoran successfully for five plus years, right? This is November 7th of 13. This example is November 7th of 14, one year to the day. We look for the FCX option that's closest to a dime. Here we had one that closed at six cents on one day, opened at eight cents the next day, rallied up to 36 cents, and then finally closed at 32 cents. Again, these moves are far greater than 100%. I say they're short term, I think you'd have to agree. I say they're fantastic, I think you'd have to agree, but again, it's up to you, you, degree, you agree or disagree whether you or not. Here's a more current trade, right? On FCX, this is a, this is a student that's parlayed his account up. He's making big money. He bought 500 contracts of the March 17 and a half calls on FCX for 15 cents. Again, close to a dime. He says he sold them on Friday for 80 cents, right? His initial investment, 
investment of seven thousand five hundred became forty thousand. He had a thirty-two thousand five hundred dollar profit. Again, this is on FCX. I showed you a trade in two thousand thirteen, two thousand fourteen. Here's two thousand fifteen. Here's two thousand sixteen. Again, this is an email from a student. He says July twenty sixth, two thousand sixteen. I bought the ten and a half dollar slash twelve dollar magic dime strangle at eight cents and nine cents at nine thirty eight a.m. Eastern time. Let me highlight what you're looking at here. He bought the ten and a half dollar put. The put is always the lower of the two strike prices. He bought the twelve dollar call. Same expiration, different strike prices make him a strangle. He, the magic dime trade is to look for the options price closest to 10 cents. You got to agree that eight cents and nine cents is pretty close to 10 cents. He bought it at 9.38 in the morning. That's pretty darn close to the open, right? He said he sold the $12 calls for 74 cents. He paid eight and nine. He paid 17 cents for the pair. He sold just the one at 74 cents. Right, it's like four and a half times what he paid for it, which generates a 335% profit above and beyond his cost. And he lost on the put because it expired worthless. He did not have to pick direction because he picked both directions. He just followed the rules. We look for the FCX options that are closest to a dime. We look to get in near the open and we let the market move from there, All right? Now, while I'm clicking buttons here, someone asked the questions, how do you pick these weekly trades? In the newsletters, I tell you exactly why we pick the, the trades, All right? I wanna give you a more current example on FCX. How about last Friday, the, right? This was, this was non-farm payroll Friday morning. Our rules have us buy our options the Thursday before non-farm payroll, we look to get in near the close, right? The close on this option was 12 cents, right? This is the Thursday before non-farm payroll. We look to get in near the close, we hold it overnight, it's not a day trade. This option traded up to 44 cents. I'm sorry, that's not a 400% gain overnight, but it was written about in my newsletter Right, and the reality, my reality is, I think I do a good enough job of teaching you that after a while you do not need my newsletter anymore because you can trade this stuff on your own. I would like to think that I do a good enough job of teaching and educating because I've been doing this for 40 plus years that you will renew my newsletter to learn more and more. Right, you, you'll learn that you wanna trade FCX again and again here is yesterday on FCX, right? Every, if you're watching a recording, this is being recorded on June 7th, 2017. Here's an FCX option, right? It closed on Monday at 15 cents. It opened on Tuesday at 11 cents. It made a high of 51 cents and ended up closing that day at 41 cents. But guess what? It's a 400% plus gain in one day, again, I believe that's fantastic. I believe that's short term, right? But, but I'll, I will let you decide. All right, having said that, let's look a little bit more of what the newsletter is about, right? I have the watch list, which FCX is a regular member of the watch list. But the watch list is, I don't know, 30 or 40 stocks. I got to count it at some point in time. But of those stocks, I, I look through and I try and find five setups, five, six, seven, sometimes I only find two or three, but whatever setups I have, I will write about a specific setup telling you why it's above and beyond just being on the watch list. I will write about a setup talking about, hey, this week, instead of buying a call and put, buy just the call, right? Or this week, instead of buying the call and put, buy just the put, right? So the top five is a step above the watch list. Right, and it's not so many stocks that you're overwhelmed. So July 9th, 2016 newsletter. This is what I wrote word for word. I like the Baidu 165 and $167.50 call options. Everybody, can you see 
that I'm telling you, I like Baidu, I like these two particular call options. Your decision is, do you want to get in the trade? I said, these options can move well over a thousand percent, but don't risk the money based on how much we can make, risk it based on how much you can lose, right? These options are inexpensive, smaller accounts can participate. Here's the thing, you ask yourself, how big an account do you have? Can, do, you, do you have enough money to buy uh, an option that's $10, that's $1,000 per contract? Or would you like to buy options that are $10 a contract, may, maybe a little bit more, right? And, you know, if you can't afford the big ones, you got to come with me. But if you can afford the big ones, realize that you can size up. Here's the charts on these options after this newsletter, right? These both things just sh shot up, right? These are basically 500% moves, maybe getting close towards 1,000. But, you know, hey, you read about it ahead of time. Now, here's a result on 10-19-2016. These are three different CMG options. Again, I can show them to you in a chart or I can show them to you in a screenshot. To the very left, we have the $405 call. It opened at $1.10 after closing the day before at $1. It made a high of $5.26. In the middle is the $407.50 cup uh, call option, right? It closed at 82 cents. Again, that's the last trade on the day before. You hold it overnight, it's not a day trade. Or you could buy it the next morning at 78 cents. It went up to $4.10, right? That's roughly five times as much in price, right? If you held it to the close, you would have you would have gotten just under $3. We can set a target or we can put a trailing stop, right? If you put a trailing stop, you might have done better than had you bought at the open and sold at the close or bought the previous day's close and sold at the close. Again, this is the $407.50 call. Here's the $405 call. Here's the $410 call. Part of the thing you need to see there is that the setups we find we will find inexpensive options. And for those of you that want to buy the more expensive options, you have a choice, right? And again, it's all rule-based. This is a trade on 10, 19, 16. Guess what? Here's the newsletter from 10, 15, 16, right? Look at the CMG chart. It's streaking lower. It may retest its mid-September low. I hope that it will then reverse course and head higher. Higher is looking to buy a call option, right? I said, if this move does happen, it occur when options cost the least and have the most leverage, right? I talk about how buying this out of the money option can make a gains of 500 to 1,000%. I talked about this four days before it happened. Important point here. I'm gonna show, I show you a 500% move you don't have to capture the whole 500% move to make money, right? The, I showed you that the 40750 call that went from you know 80 cents to 410 that closed at 294. Is it okay if you if you paid 90 cents and you sold at 250? You're going to leave some money on the table. But guess what? You're going to make a lot of money. It's sloppy slop. Let me tell you something. I am a sloppy trader, but I make money. But more importantly, if you have any system that you look at that requires you to trade it perfectly, you're not going to be able to trade it perfectly. You would fail, right? So I like my system because it's got a lot of play in it, particularly as you're new at this. When you become my student, right, and when you start making trades and start doubling and tripling your money and leaving a lot of money on the table, over time, you're going to go from doubling and tripling to tripling to quadrupling, right? To quadrupling to quintupling, quintupling to quintupling, septupling, octupling. I don't know what it is. Doesn't matter. It's a lot of money, right? 52717 newsletter. This is just a couple weeks ago. I talked about Las Vegas Sands, right? The ticker's LVS and win resort, win call options. So again, here's charts. This is from last Friday, everybody, 
look at this. We're at right around a quarter up to $2.50. That is a 1,000% move. 1,000% move is 10 times your money. Here, we're under 20 cents to just under $20. Again, that's at least a 10 times move. Right? And there's very few pullbacks on these. Right? What a shame if a guy bought here at 20 cents and got stopped out at 40 or, or, or was able to do that and got stopped out at 80. I'm going to tell you, you probably, you're not going to hold it to here. You would get stopped out here. And in reality, this might only have been an, an eight times move. Right? But again, here's the 60 call, the 60 and a half call, the 61 call. These are um, overnight moves. Right? These are not day trades. And then we have when, again, right in the newsletter, I talked about this. You, you, you guys might not realize that this is under 50 cents. This is $50 a contract. $50 became $600. I'd like to think that each and every one of you here has at least $50 that they can risk. More importantly, I'd like to think that each and every one of you here has $97 that you can risk. But I'm ahead of myself. The Pulse System. The Pulse System is a book a number of videos right, teaches you how to consume the newsletter. The newsletter comes every weekend. In the newsletter, I have a list of stocks that have good option math, and I talk about a move the previous week that happened that will happen again in the future so that you might recognize it. Each week in the newsletter, I have a top five plus or minus stocks, right? If you looked at my newsletter from June 3rd, one of the stocks on that list is Nugget, N-U-G-T. Nugget moved so much yesterday that there were 500% moves yesterday. Wouldn't it be nice to know about a 500% move two or three days before the 500% move took place? Guess what? In the next edition on June 10th, we're going to review that Nugget trade and I'm gonna try and educate you so that you can get them without me. I'd like to think that I can teach you to trade without my newsletter, but I like to think that my newsletter is so good that you'll renew. Coincidentally, I have the highest renewal of all the authors of Trade Wins, right? The publisher, I have the highest renewal. It's gotta say something. In the newsletter, I have a goal. My goal is to teach you to exploit a setup. Right? I want to teach you how to trade a stock, a, symbol, a single stock, because if you can learn how to trade one stock and get two, three, four, five hundred percent moves and the occasional thousand percent moves on one stock, you don't need another stock. One of those stocks is Schlumberger, right? The ticker's SLB. We jokingly call it slob, right? We are slob traders. Here's a move from 2014. Again, 6, 6, 14. This is almost three years to the day. Today is 6, 7, 2017. This is a 1,300% move from one day to the next, right? From the close of one day to the close of the next day. Here shortly later, uh, darn, this, this, this is a move that went 10 times up in price and gave some back. So. The entries are very much set near the close, near the open, or at a specific price on the stock, right? How much slop you're going to have is going to be based more on your exits. Here's another move, 2,900%. Would you have liked to have bought this option, right? Bought this option near the close for 13 cents, held it overnight, have a high of 436, have it close at 390 which is a 2,900% gain. That's overnight. That is not a day trade. I guess if you wanted to be a day trader, you could buy it near the open at 12 cents. Your gains would be even bigger. Two or 3,000% in a day, I believe is fantastic, and I believe it's short term, and I believe it's typical for what we do. Here's an email from a, from a trader back in June, right? Thanks, Chris. I got in slob early this morning and got out with a $1,000 profit in 15 minutes. 
with 10 contracts. I enjoy your service very much. Too bad I'm not a day trader. Now, I don't know if he's joking here because when he buys it and sells it 15 minutes later the same day, that's a day trade. Now, the reality is you just have to count your day trades. And if, you, if a day trading is an issue for you, buy one day near the close to sell the next day, right? We are trading short term, but don't, don't let it scare you that we're trading such short term. Here's Slob again later, 1,100% from the close of one day to the open of the next day, and then it went up even higher still. Here's a student, slop, he's sloppy slop traded slob. He's been a student for four months now, right? He, in those four months, he was able to learn the system. He bought the 95 strike price puts at 14 cents, and he set an order, a target order, to sell them for four times as much, right? Four times as much, boom, he sold. It got up to 90 cents, it closed at 66 cents, but it, that's okay. Again, slob, here's a, an 800% an move, right? Trading slob strangle. Again, his subject line is my newest best buddy. Now, I don't know if I'm his newest best buddy or Slumber Jay is, is his newest best buddy, but he rang the bell. Now, he said he down here he bought the 96.95 strangle. Now, I got to tell you, when I write it, I would write 95.96 because the put is always the lower of the two strike prices. He put, the, he put it 96.95, I know the 96 is the call. He purchased the calls at 50 cents, he purchased the puts at 58 cents, right? He paid a dollar eight for the pair, he sold the calls for 310, the puts expired worthless, right? I will lose 100% of my money on a lot of trades, but if I'm losing 100% of the money on a trade on, on the put, but the call goes up six times in price, I'm still making an awful lot of money. And again, it's so much of it is when you buy. Right? So much of what you buy. Here's a, here's a gentleman made $15,000 to date trading just slob. He asked the question, is there other securities that are similar to slob? My, my, my question back to him is, what does it matter? I teach you how to trade this stock or that stock, right? If, you, if you're only trading FCX over and over again, what does it matter? You don't need slob. If you're trading slob, what does it matter? You know, here's slob at an FOMC. This is an event. This is FOMC day. It went from six cents to 72 cents, right? That's 1,200% in a day, right? It was only 500% overnight. Here's a slob option that went from two cents to a dollar. We get some fairly big moves, right? Four cents to a dollar thirty-eight. Here's slob February of this year, right? Guy bought the call at thirty-two cents, sold it at eighty-seven cents. Another student purchased at thirty-one cents. Sold at 53. He said he sold two minutes before the bell, right? You understand how that works. We look to get in near the open or close. That's, that allows you to be a regular trader that has a life, right? Here's a longer term example of Apple. We talked about, gave you a target entry point and you had three days right, actually three and a half days where you could get in, right? Um, Short-term gain on a long-term call. I sent out the newsletter, said buy the option closest to $3. I don't care what expiration you buy, go off in the future, buy the call closest to three bucks. Here's a, here's a move, basically 33% gains in a day, but I had you buy long-term options because the stock moved up so much. All right, I'm running out of time. Review here. Pulse system, books and videos tells you how to do it. Weekly newsletter tells you what stocks to do it on. Constantly picking stocks, reviewing, right? The emperor has no clothes. If I pick something and I lose money, I can't hide. 
we know right away whether it worked or not. Give you the opportunity to become a student, an opportunity for you to get the books, videos, newsletter. All right, the reasons to join pulse options are similar to the reasons to trade options. How much do you use and how much could you lose? How much do you use? It's $97 for a quarterly subscription. 97 for a quarterly subscription. How much could you lose? Technically nothing because we have a full money back guarantee, right? If Renee, if you don't mind um, putting the, the link in so that people can get to it. It's tradewinds.com, Tradewinds is my publisher, right? They publish dozens of other trading authors. Again, I have the highest renewal rate of their authors. Let me tell you something. If you want to be a decisive, a successful trader, you have to be decisive. You have to take action. You have to take action on a calculated risk. I'm going to ask you to consider risking 10 cents on an FCX call option, which is risking $10. You've got to be willing to let that $10 become zero. Right in the newsletter, I want you, right, to become my student. You have to be decisive. The calculated risk is that you're going to risk your time. We have a full money back guarantee. If you don't double your money 20 times in 20 days, we'll give you your money back. Understand, I'm not saying double 100 to 200 and 200 to 400, 400 to 800, 800 to 1600. I'm saying if you can't find 20 options that you can't double, buy an option for a quarter and sell it for 50 cents, buy an option for a dollar and sell it for $2, buy an option for a dime and sell it for 20 cents. If you can't do that 20 times in 20 days, I'll give your money back even if you don't try. So you're only risking your time to read the newsletter, to look at the videos. Again, here's the link. I apologize. Um, I've probably gone a couple minutes over time where I cannot um, answer too many questions. Luckily for me, there, there weren't many questions. Um, people ask, how do I pick these trades? Again, it's in the system. Uh, is this gamma scalping? No, we're buying straight inexpensive options. I teach you what is an inexpensive option. Now, mind you, just because an option's a dime doesn't mean it's inexpensive. There are sometimes options that are a dime that are expensive because they're not likely to have the stock move enough. Right? So, I, I'm going to I'm going to uh, pass it on to R Renee. Um, again, I think when it's all said and done, I might have gone two or three minutes long. I apologize. Um, having said that, Renee, are you there? <laughs> I am. All right. Thank you so much, Chris. It was a pleasure having you on Investor Inspiration today. Again, it's been my pleasure and my honor. I thank you for your time and attention, and um, I, I hopefully you become my student and we can go from there.